Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the world of Samantha and Phil. <laughs> That's guys. it. It's welcome nothing back. too exciting. <laughs> Just us. We've got Bob Seeger though today. That's exciting. Yeah, another one. I've enjoyed our journey with him so far. Yeah, he's been awesome. We've done three. We've done old time rock and roll. Mm-hmm. We've done turn the page, mm-hmm. and we've done night moves. Yeah, and I loved all three of them. They've been great. And as we said in the last one that we released, or maybe it was the second one that we did, I can't remember now, but the going theme is that Bob Seeker has no bad songs. And yes. thus far, it's been true for us in our experience. But we'll see if Like a Rock lives up to the hype as well. Yeah. And we have a little question about Bob Seeker. This might be a little bit easy for you guys. The question is what, Samantha? Where is he from? Where is his hometown? Yes. Give us that answer. And you will be in Bob Seeger folklore for the rest of your life. <laughs> Slightly exaggerated, but tell us if you know the answer by hitting those comments below. Yes. We always appreciate the insights. And uh, if you want to add anything else about this song that we yeah, don't about know. him in general, fun facts. Yeah, we, uh, we are always down to learn. And uh, you've, you've enjoyed Bob Seeger thus far. I've enjoyed Bob Seeger thus far. The requests have been plentiful for Bob Seeger thus far. So we went from not knowing who the hell Bob Seeger was, <laughs> which I said in the first video. I was like, I don't even know who this guy is. Yeah, literally. And you guys all came through in the comments, and you're like, how do you not know who Bob Seeger is? We know now. We do. We're starting to get a little bit more familiar. That's right. So we should get to know him a little bit more. Yeah, let's do it. Let's roll. Oh, this is a request from Mark, by the way. Thanks, Mark. Another one. Stood there boldly, sweating in the sun. The raspiness. Felt like a million. Felt like number one. The height of summer. I'd never felt that strong. Like a rock I was 18 Didn't have a care Working for peanuts Not a dime to spare But I was leaning Solid everywhere Like a rock hands were steady, my eyes were clear and bright, my walk had purpose, my steps were quick and light, and I held firm to what I felt was right, like a rock, like a rock baby, like a rock, I was strong as I could be, like a rock. Nothing ever got to me like a rock. I was something to see like a rock. And I stood arrow straight, unencumbered by the weight of all these hustlers and their schemes. I stood proud, I stood tall. Yeah, it's so smooth sounding. 
Yeah, I mean, it's it's blown me away with Bob. I mean, they're, they're accurate in the assessment again thus far. There's not a bad song because no, this one's definitely not. fire halfway through. But it blows me away still with that said how diverse he can sound. You know, how many sounds he brings yeah. to the table. Yeah, we've heard completely different again. Yeah, we've heard the jazz influence. We've heard the old school rock. We've heard like the heavier rock. We've kind of heard R&B. We've heard the soul. We've heard the, the folk, the country, because he's blended all these sounds together yeah. and really shows his diversity. And, you know, we haven't listened to Bob Seger, uh, you know, frequently on the channel thus far. But I almost forgot his power of his raspy vocal in there yeah. as well. In the beginning, when he kind of lulled you in with the storytelling, which was similar to turn the page a little bit. Yeah. But then he ramped it up and brought in the energy. And I liked how they then followed that up with this like instrumental bridge with the piano and the, the keys and the guitar which then added even more of that energy, but flowed so seamlessly from one part to the next in the transition. So again, this is really, really cool. And, you know, adding all his, his abilities and capabilities of the story, storytelling and the vocals and all that. Yeah. And I think that his voice, like you touched on kind of like the raspy powerfulness of his voice. I feel like, like with the storytelling aspect, it has a very like a nostalgic kind of like, I don't know, reminiscing on the past about good times, but also feeling like a little bit kind of like sad that, you know, mm -hmm. that's in the past. And I feel like his vocal, like the way his voice sounds actually does a really good job of like bringing those emotions to light. Mm -hmm. Like it's not just storytelling of like telling the story. It's like you can actually feel the emotions he's feeling while he's talking about it, which I think is really cool. Yeah. So that's what I think, you know, his, is him singing from the soul, Yeah, that aspect. Right. Mm -hmm. And, uh, that allows him to really, emote a lot of the lyrics that he's saying so yeah i'm loving it. you ready to get it going again mm -hmm. yes yeah, yeah. Twenty years now where they go Twenty years i don't know i sit and i wonder sometimes where they've gone Sometimes late at night Oh, when I'm bathed in the firelight The moon comes calling a ghostly white And I recall I recall Tell me Like that. a rock Standing arrow straight Like a rock from the gate Keep her lit, ladies and gentlemen. The great guitar work in that one as well. I don't yeah. know if that was the Silver Bullet Band. I think he was. It was Bob Seger in the Silver Bullet Band, if, if I remember correctly. So I don't know if that's a member 
of the band that was doing that work. I don't yeah. think it was Bob, but I could be wrong. And you guys can let us know in those comments. Yeah, for sure. But, um, you know, great feel. Uh, I think, you know, so I think they said in the comments that this was very popular in like Chevy commercials. Okay. I could see that because obviously like, you know, a Chevy truck, they're like saying it's solid like a rock. Yeah. So I think I remember the slogan of like a rock. True for those trucks, but I don't remember the song in any of the commercials. I don't remember anything to do with that personally. I mean, I probably wasn't paying attention that hard to be honest, but it didn't, you know, other songs that we've done, I feel like, Oh yeah, I feel like I've heard that in a movie mm-hmm. or a commercial yeah, or yeah, something. No, I didn't I recognize it. Didn't get that. Although when I was listening to it, what the vibe I did get was like a cruise in song. Mm-hmm. I could see, see myself with the yeah. windows down and having this one, you know, rolling and, and, uh, in light of the messaging, you know, being this recall of nostalgia, you know, you're just kind of cruising and listening to the song and in your own vibe and in your own world, thinking about the past. And, you know, I think he captured that awesomely with his vocal, too. So I love this one. Not overly complex in terms of the yeah. the lyrics or anything or the structure between the chorus and stuff like that. It was pretty simple, but really, really hard hitting. And that's what I love about songs is when you can, you know, break it down and simplify it, but magnify it in the same, same way. Yeah, for sure. And I think that's kind of the point of it, right? Like the, the emphasis on it is kind of the storytelling and, you know, the, the emotion that he's giving, like from the lyrics, from his vocals. So I feel like if it was more intricate, it might've like taken away from that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So did you enjoy it? Yeah, I really liked it. I liked it a lot. I also got a similar vibe of like, it's something you'd listen to either like kind of cruising or just like, you know, like he had mentioned like hanging out by the fire, firelight or the the fire, whatever he said, um, in the backyard with the moon and just relaxing and thinking and vibing out a little bit. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Well, I enjoyed that one. So Mark, you made a good pick, another good yes. pick. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Mark's picks on the channel as well. Yes. Um, so many awesome ones. Yeah, they've been great. I've really enjoyed uh, listening to his his plethora of music that he's offered us. So thanks so much, Mark. We always, we always appreciate everybody's insights in the comments. All the subscriptions have been overwhelming and we are so grateful for every single one of you. So yes. thank you so much. And other than that, we got to give them a, an answer to that pop quiz question. And yeah. where is Bob Seeger from, Samantha? Yeah, his hometown is Detroit. Detroit. Yeah, I think a lot of you guys probably knew that one. That one was a vanilla question, but that's all right. We can't keep them all tough. And uh, so hopefully you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like button before you go. Hit the subscription and notification bell if you haven't done already. If this is your first time on the channel and you want to join us, we'd love to have you. If you keep coming back and supporting us, thank you. Continue with that. We appreciate it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.